Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to discuss some pregnancy Q&A today, some questions that I've got over on my Instagram mainly. I thought I would just do a little chatty video with you about them. So currently, right now, I'm in my third trimester, 33 weeks, which seems absolutely bonkers to say. And now it's like really hitting me that I am actually gonna have a baby next month probably so that seems crazy so i've been like frantically nesting and buying stuff and trying to make the space um baby like if that makes sense so yeah it's it's kind of dawning on me that it could even happen now like if if she came now and literally this early it she would still survive so it's dawning on me and it's getting a bit scary but yeah so that's why i thought let's just do a video and have a little chat so the first question was do i have any cravings which i'm kind of boring in that respect because i don't think i've got any cravings or had any cravings i've gone off things so i've gone off water that i used to drink every day and i've gone off of yogurt so instead i just have like fizzy drinks or squash which i know is not that great obviously water trumps those but it just makes me feel quite sick i don't want it instead i've kind of been craving a lot of chocolate a lot of ice cream a lot of sweets biscuits so all of that kind of thing um which so i've just been having that if that's even a craving oh actually thinking about it i am vegetarian well i'm more pescatarian than vegetarian i guess because i do eat some fish now and then and there was a stage for about maybe a month or a good few weeks where i wanted to have a burger a big juicy burger i was thinking about and my family just said go for it like your body was obviously crying out for it and my partner said not to and I would regret it because I've been a vegetarian for a long time now and I didn't go for it and that's just passed and I don't really care to have a burger right now so I don't know what that was all about it was a bit random because I had my blood te bloods test and everything like that and I'm not low on iron or anything that you might think maybe that's why I need that meat but that was kind of a weird one the next question was do I do any exercise any workouts and pelvic floor exercises so pelvic floor exercises I've I've got like an app on my phone and I do do them when I am being good and actually do them. So it's only like a minute or something, but it seems ridiculous, but I just never feel like I can be bothered to do it, which is ridiculous. So I do them every now and then, pelvic floor exercises on this app thing where you're just squeezing and unclenching, that kind of thing, which is pretty easy. And in regards to working out, I... And my first trimester, I had like no energy, couldn't be bothered, stopped the gym completely pretty much. Slowly into the second trimester, I had more energy and everyone says that your second trimester is the best one. And I did feel this, I totally did feel this. I had more energy, I wanted to go to the gym, felt good, felt kind of powerful kind of thing. And then now I'm into the third trimester, it just feels horrible and a bit more of a slump as well. But also it could be because I've been ill for like the past two weeks. That has also given me a bit of a slump. So it could be a combination of both. But I also just know that it's getting heavier and everything's getting a little bit more harder to do, like even walking. So I'm going much less frequently now. So the next question is the best and worst part of pregnancy, which is quite a good, interesting question. I say the best things are, how amazing the body is so to literally grow a human without telling your body what to do I never really thought about how magical and crazy that is so literally growing it and all of its organs everything it needs to be perfectly right and then they're moving around inside you it's all just very weird and I just took it for granted before how crazy the human body can be another thing i would say is like a best part of pregnancy is seeing how my partner has been with it which i find really cute and i think that that probably tells you a lot about the person you're with how they are how they act towards you um how excited how they talk about the pregnancy and having a baby so that's been really nice to see and really cute to see as well now the worst part i wrote some down and it kind of looks like the worst parts are even more than the best parts, which I don't know, does that sound really ungrateful? It's just kind of my experience. 
I have always wanted a baby, but I didn't realize potentially the ups and downs and how hard it can be. And I also don't didn't realize how alone it can feel, which is kind of weird, but it's like you are alone because you can talk to friends that are pregnant or have been pregnant. Um, I don't have any friends that are currently pregnant, but I've got some friends that, like a main friend that um, has had babies. So I always go to her for advice. But you just feel alone because it's happening to your body in a way it's happening to you you can tell people oh these movements are really hurting me I feel really tired my belly's really heavy but it's happening to you and you're experiencing it so you do feel kind of alone and I think the just the whole part of it being unknown because it is an unknown journey that you just question am I going to be good enough what's it going to be like how is this going to work how is that going to look now um so that's kind of a big thing I think and just the sadness that has happened which I am always someone and my like I spoke to like my brother about this um and I'm someone that floats along life with the same kind of emotions if that makes sense so I'm not someone that's like oh my god I'm so 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 happy or oh my god I'm so 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 sad I'm always just like I'm pretty happy I'm content I'm going along and I'm, I'm happy like I'm a happy person people would normally describe me um as like a positive person and yeah I'll just carry on in that kind of normal footing if that makes sense but with pregnancy your hormones are all over the show and bloody hell your hormones affect so much it's crazy so one minute I'm fine and then the next minute I'm so unhappy and sad and crying and there was a stage where it was about a month six weeks something like that where I was crying every day if not every day every other day um didn't really know why sometimes just was like I feel sad um, that was probably the main thing. Just I feel really la- low and sad. So yeah, just just that part was hard because I've never really experienced such big depths of emotions. Another bad thing, I guess, is I've never had heartburn before, acid reflux before. Didn't know what the hell it was when it was happening to me, and that is can be kind of uncomfortable, mainly at night, feeling like a bit of sickness and stuff. So that's kind of not great. Also feeling uncomfortable now. And like the heaviness, which I know is going to only get worse. I'm 33 weeks. It's only going to get worse. She's only going to get bigger and bigger by the week. So yeah, just the heaviness of even just going for a bit of a walk and then feeling like, wow, this is getting a bit heavy in my belly now and the movements and everything like that. I'm gonna say something that could be seen as a bit taboo that I don't really hear that many people talk about, but I've seen it on forums where basically you don't really like being pregnant like people make it out like it is something that everyone loves it's a magical which it is magical um, amazing thing every single movement you, you love them feeling the baby move and I haven't really felt like that like so sometimes I'd say it, it's kind of all right it's kind of nice feeling the movements but when they're like kicking quite a lot and everything like that, it feels uncomfortable and it feels kind of weird to me. It's kind of like, oh, if I think too long about this, it's kind of freaking me out. So I've heard, like I said, the odd people say, I hate being pregnant. I hate the thin of movements. So I know I'm not alone, but it it makes you feel like you can't say it out loud because it makes you feel like you're a failure or you're going to be a bad mum. But it's not, it's totally a different thing. Like you being pregnant and housing a baby is totally different to how you're going to be as an actual mother um, and mothering that child. So yeah, that's something that I've been feeling too. The next question was, when did I start buying baby clothes? Which... I think we've bought like one one pair of clothes or one item of clothing because my friend has literally supplied us with so many clothes from her previous pregnancies, which is amazing and such, such help. And other people have bought us clothes as well. So we've been really lucky on that front. The next question is what surprises me the most about pregnancy? So this is probably like I kind of spoke upon the sadness the aloneness, the basically how crazy your hormones can flip because even when I was having periods, um, once I got on periods back as well, 
they were always stable. I wasn't like moody. I wasn't peer messy. Um, my hormones were always very stable. So experiencing that was quite a big change for me. Another thing that surprises me is how you don't get any scans on the NHS in the UK after 20 weeks, unless there's kind of like a problem or they think that you need them, them scans for growth reasons or something like that. So your last scan is 20 weeks and then you potentially have the baby at 40 weeks. Like it's such a long period of time of not seeing your baby. Um, you hear the heartbeat when you go to the midwife appointments, but that surprised me. Another thing is how much it changes your body and changes you, which I know you're like, duh, obviously it does, but I never really gave it that much for thought beforehand. Like my hips are wired up. Obviously I'm growing at like a rapid rate as well, which I didn't really expect. Um, acid reflux, heartburn, hairiness, which is such a weird thing to say, but just like how quickly your hair grows so that you have to shave so much quicker. Um, that's a big thing as well. Nosebleeds I've written down as well. I've been getting, which I never got before. Shortness of breath early on, that surprised me. How I'd go up a flight of stairs and be really out of breath. Like, and I was really early on in the pregnancy and it was like, this is crazy. Um, and also just going on off things like going off yogurt, um, for instance, and water, that kind of surprised me. I think because of going through the journey, and obviously I'm not completely through the other, other end, it's a lifelong thing here now, that I can really appreciate and understand how it is like to be a mother and be pregnant. Whereas before I wouldn't have thought about it, it's now like, wow, when, when someone's a mom, it's like, wow, you went through all of this, if not, like obviously you had a different experience, if not more, you've experienced more symptoms and things like that and more changes with your body and it's gonna be an ongoing thing. Like your body is gonna to totally be different and it's, it's housed the baby. So yeah, it's just more appreciation. Exactly like when I lost my period for two years and was going through the recovery of that, trying to get my period back and change my diet and lifestyle to do that. Therefore, I then gained so much gratitude towards having a period, whereas before I didn't even think about it. And now again, it's this massive hormonal symphony, if that's the right word, that I just have so much appreciation for. There was a few other questions, but I'm gonna stop there. So if you have any other questions though that you would like me to answer or any other videos you want me to talk upon, then just drop them down in the comments below and I'll see you on the next video.